Hello YouTube. We're going to start giving you Friday updates on the house instead of all these videos. On the front I did it so you can see kind of the process of painting. But These are my tarps I got at Harbor Freight. Two of them were free and one of them was $3. So we made out pretty good on there. Okay. Then we have some rope stretched across here over to the trees. I don't know if you can see the rope on the video. I'll snap a photo. Okay, we'll show you some of the putty work we've been doing. Come over here to one of the bad spots. Okay, we had some rod here, so we shaped this. This will be ground and sanded. Uh, that had a broken piece of siding, which we glued back in with the putty. And up here. You get that color, it's been about 18 hours. Go ahead and sand on that a little bit. You might find it's dry underneath. It does get a color where it looks like it's still wet. And in the future we'll be showing why that was replaced when we had our rope redone. We'll show you why that's doubled. They were so bad when we bought this house. There was no trim board out here on the eave. So you see where the nails are? We added blocks, nailed, screwed in. So the board would have something good to grab to. So when they put a new roof on, the new sheeting, the wood, is nailed to the old and the new. So we done that before the roofers came. Way before then. So this never had a trim board. This board is recycled rough sawn lumber that we had in the garage. It was like a floor on the upstairs of it, the building. So it's old rough sawn lumber. I can't tell you if it's pine, it could be like a Douglas fir because it was kind of an orange color. But you see how bad it is, which is kind of weird. See what that's nice white primer still stuck there? That could have been some oil based primer from years ago, but we use latex primer. This time we're using the oil base. And we'll get up here and show you how, so we're digging out the, all the old caulking. It will prime this and then we'll get the caulking in there. So we'll get primer to we'll shove it clear in there. We'll actually ruin we've ruined the brush. You can do this by pushing primer in there so we know it's in the crack. Then we put the caulking over it. There we'll get a little close up. So kind of gives you an idea of what it's been taking to do this. This is gonna be messy getting up under there. So don't slop, I'll probably have a long sleeve shirt. There's kind of a crack in there because there was damage to this. And then they pried up and down working on it. So there was some damage there of the roof years ago and they kept shingling over the roof. So we had hail damage, so we had the whole roof stripped off. All new sheeting is on the roof. So you don't have those boards with the gaps from the old days with the wooden shingles. So this house has all new sheeting on the roof and new shingles and heavy duty I'll snap a picture of it of the shingles sometime but there you go we made this long enough we'll give you some photos